Hi everyone, I am Pavitra. I am pursuing B.Tech first year at SRIT. I belongs to CSM department. Now I am going to discuss about preparation, properties and applications of Buna S and Buna N. Let us discuss about contents. Introduction to Buna S and Buna N. Preparation of Buna S. Properties of Buna S. Applications of Buna S. And preparation of Buna N. Properties of Buna N. Applications of Buna N and comparison between Bunais and Bunayan and environmental considerations of Bunais and Bunayan. Let us discuss about introduction part of Bunais and Bunayan. Bunais and Bunayan are synthetic elastro elastromers commonly referred as referred to as styrene butadiene rubber SBR and nitrile butadiene rubber NBR respectively. Both materials are widely used in various industries due to their excellent properties and versatility. Bunais and Bunayan offers unique advantages compared to natural rubber, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. Let us discuss about preparation of Bunais. Bunais is prepared through the copolymerization of styrene and butadiene monomers. The process involves mixing the monomers and a catalyst, typically a pre-oxide, in a reactor. The reaction is carried out at high temperatures and pressures, uh, resulting in the formation of a solid rubbery material. Let us discuss about properties of Bunais. Bunais exhibit, exhibits good abrasion resistance, making it suitable for applications such as tiles, conveniers, belts, convenier belts and shoe soles. It has excellent resistance to water, oils and chemicals, making it ideal for gas, gaskets, o-rings in automotive and industrial applications. Bunais has moderate heat resistance and making it for suitable for a wide range of temperature conditions. Let us discuss about applications of Bunais. Uh, Bunais is used in used for making tiles, footwear, belts and conveyors, automotive parts, sports equipment, mechanical goods, PVC blending. Let us discuss about preparation of Bunain. Bunain is prepared through the copolymerization of butadiene and acrylonitrile monomers. The process involves using a catalyst and controlling conditions such as temperature and pressure to achieve the desired composition and the properties of the polymer. Let us discuss about properties of Bunayan. Bunayan exhibits excellent oil and fuel resistance, making it widely used in automotive and aerospace uh, industries for sales and gaskets. It has good resistance to abrasion making it suitable for applications such as conveyor belts and industrial hoses. Bunayan has a high tensile strength and can withstand a wide range of temperatures. Let us discuss about applications of Bunayan. Automotive sales and ga gaskets is used in is used oil and gas industry, aerospace applications, industrial machinery, medical industry, chemical processing, fuel handling systems, hydraulic systems, mining industry, consumer goods. Buna is used for these, these all for making. Let us discuss about comparison between Buna and Buna is. Buna offers better resistance to oil, fuel and solvents compared to Buna is. Bunais provides better resistance to water and flexibility compared to Bunain. Both rubbers offers good resistance to heat, chemicals and abrasion, but the specific properties may vary. Let us discuss about environmental considerations. Bunain and Bunais are not biodegradable and can have a negative impact on the environment if not properly disposed of. Recycling programs for rubber products made from Bunayan and Bunais can help 
reduce waste and promote sustainability proper handling and disposal procedures should should be followed to minimize environmental impact thank you